My name is Daniel Koblakin. I'm presenting on synergies from merger and acquisition. And I'm looking at a case study of Ecobank Ghana Limited and the Trust Bank. Now, the abstract, we are looking at SNET as a major player in the financial industry in Ghana, decided in 2011 to swap using its 61% interest in TTB to swap for Ecobank ETI shares in Ecobank. And that, in the end, gave SNIT a 16.9% shares in Ecobank. The study was set to examine whether there were synergies to be derived from that measure of whether the object, objective of SNIT was met and whether the bank remained competitive after the merger. The approach used was a case study approach and then quantitative approach. The Social Security and National Insurance Trust, SNIT, is a major player in the banking industry in Ghana. It has shares in almost all the banks in Ghana. By the time of the merger, it had a controlling interest in TTB. And it took a decision to realign its investment. portfolio to achieve maximum return decided to drive bank consolidation through swapping of its shares of TTB for shares in Ecobank Ghana Limited. Now why the measure? It was to take advantage of efficiencies and synergies leading to enhanced shareholder value and it creates a bigger bank that will be the number two bank in the country that will take advantage of the oil fine and drive big ticket deals to make more money and then the other reason was to propel the new entity to grow organically thereby opening new branches and employing the youth who were unemployed. The factors that were considered for this measure. The core business of TTB at the time was commercial banking. And they focused on small and medium scale enterprises. But Ecobank Ghana Limited's core business was corporate banking with additional values in leasing corporate finance, and brokerage assets management. One factor that made this merger seamless was that both banks were not generalized. So what was the objective of the study? Was to identify whether there were synergies, synergic benefit from the merger of Ecobank and TTB, and as to establish whether SNIT as the investor objective was met to increase shareholders' worth and to establish whether the merged bank remained competitive after the merger. Now, let's go into some literature. What is synergy? Synergy has been um, described by various, various authors, but we'll say that synergy is the ability of two or more business and entities to generate greater wealth than what it will be when they are standing alone or apart. There are sources of synergies and there are positive synergy and there are sources of reverse synergy, which is negative. And for sources of positive synergy, we are looking at 
industrial power. Industrial power is to people going to synergy to reduce competition or create monopoly. And in some cases, we go into synergy where synergy is derived, they go into merger for diversification. Diversification here means that the reduction of risk, but retaining the same results. People go into measures to derive synergy to eliminate inefficiency. Here we are talking about shared resources efficiently. So the TTB and Ecobank merger, for example, they use the Ecobank electronic platform and jettison the TTB platform. Then the goal positive synergy is to achieve tax reliefs. This is to acquire the required, to achieve the required profit that will give that tax relief. And the last but not the least, complementary resources. Where this is where the comp where one entity has, for example, a strong research and development base, and the other has marketing base. So in coming together, they'll combine the two resources and make more money. The, the final one is intellectual capital. Here, for example, Ecobank was interested in going into um, SME banking. That already was known and by TTB and they were doing it effectively. So combining the two made it a success. Can we look at reverse synergies? Sometimes company announce mergers and then their stock prices fall. This is because the, the acquisition will be was done for non-value maximization of resources. And where there is lack of industrial and commercial fit, this also will bring reverse synergy. There will not be positive synergy. And when there is lack of goal congruence, then this means that there is no alignment of goals. Then synergy cannot be achieved. The next on the slide is the valuation methods. There are a number of methods in valuing companies when they are going to mergers. Capital assets pricing model is one of them. This model is used widely to determine the theoretical appropriate required rate of return for an asset. It is also suitable for the pricing of risky assets. The other one is net asset valuation. This is to, to determine what it will cost to recreate the company based on its net asset value or the fair value of its assets less its total liability. Another one is the price earning valuation method. This is to determine the market price per share. And this is the price earning ratio times the earning per share. Dividend valuation method is another method used in the valuation of companies. And this is to determine the price of the stock using the future, expected future dividends. That is discounted to their present value. And then Discounting same to their present value, I said our then present the value of the future cash flow valuation. Now, when this is done and the current market value of the shares is higher than the the results, then the share is overvalued, the company is overvalued. But where the value obtained after the valuation is higher than the current market value, then there's an opportunity for a good deal. 
there's opportunity for growth. Now, the discussion and analysis. By the discounted cash flow approach, the estimated market price of TTB was 296.44 million Ghana cities. By using the discounted dividend approach, TTB was valued at 138.42. By using the price any ratio, TTB was valued at 225.23. By using the adjusted net valuation method, the bank was valued at 127.05 million. Now, it meant that there was a range of 127.05 million to 296.44 million. But CTB at the time was valued at 220 million. CTB alone, 220 million. And EcoBank alone was valued at three cities, 55 pesos per share because EcoBank was a listed company. But at the time of the valuation, Ecobank shares on the Ghana Stock Exchange was 3 cities 45 pesos, which meant that Ecobank shares on the market was selling below its value. Now, the question, the research question, the SLIT meets its objective from data source from SLIT financial statement. Slate's objective was to earn more returns on its investment. This for a bank would be dividends and then the increase in the value of the capital of the assets. So looking at dividend received, taken from 2010 as a base, in 2011, where the merger took place, there was a growth of 11.28%. In 2012, it increased to 25%. In 2013, dividends had increased by 22.01. 2014, 48%. 2015, 83.32%. 2016, it was 6.24. So we are reaching maturity. But it is worth noting that before the merger, TTB had never paid um, dividends to SNET. But Ecobank was paying dividends below 1 million. But one year after the merger, Ecobank paid dividend of 11 million. And in 2016, the dividend paid by Ecobank was 39.8 million. Then the next research question. Did the new entity benefit from synergies? Answer, yes. It is clear from the study that the new entity benefited from both operational and financial synergies. This is illustrated from the interest income of the company. In 2010, the year before the merger, it was 213.9 million Ghana cities. The year of the merger, it dipped by 25.4%. A year after the merger, in line with literature,